I'm Ben, and I'm making a game focused on speed. The name of the game? Lumina Rush. Now, I've always been in love with games with good movement. Games like Celeste, or Hollow Knight, or Super Mario 64. These games have incredible speedrunning communities. And when I watch someone speedrun these games, I can't help but notice that there's this effortless flow that seems to be present in these games. And when I watch that, I want to be able to do it. The problem is, it's actually really hard. You have to master a lot of really hard techniques. And I thought to myself, well, I'll do the next best thing. I'll make a game that emulates the flow that comes from speedrunning a game without really having to master it. Makes sense, right? Now, making speed feel good isn't just about taking the velocity of an object and turning it up to 11. The first step is creating a solid reference point on what is slow and what is fast. The difference between these two points creates what the player feels as speed. Now the bigger difference makes us think that we're moving faster. But if you make the player feel like a turtle, they'll have this feeling of sluggish most of the time they're playing the game. But if you make your fast point as fast as a bullet, you'll probably give the player no feeling of control. So there's this delicate balance that has to be made when we want to make speed feel good. Making solid 2D platformer movement should be easy. All you have to do is move left, move right, and jump. Wrong. So wrong! Apparently, it takes a lot more effort than just a little bit of code. Because people have been doing this for a long time, and it is an art to making good and solid and responsive movement for games like these. But luckily for us, we have this amazing thing called YouTube where a lot of great people have made and explained how to make good movement, which I'm not even going to try to, but shout out to especially this YouTube channel, Dinosaur, I think? Um, incredible insight to just helping me create a impactful and responsive movement, just baseline movement for my character. Since we now have a baseline of what normal movement is, we can move on to ways to make our player go fast. In my game, there's a core mechanic, which is the slide. Now this isn't just your standard slide. In my game, when you slide, you maintain all momentum that you've had, and it will keep you going in that direction. F off friction. Also, if you input the slide before you touch the ground, you will transfer all of your vertical momentum into horizontal momentum, giving you this feeling of flow that will keep your speed going at all times. Adding on to that, if you press it right before you touch the ground, you'll get what's called a boost slide. And this will multiply all the momentum that you built up and compound it on a multiplier, giving you this red line effect. And finally, I said, let's slide up walls, because that seems awesome. And so that's one of the core elements in making this kind of speed running effect, whether you're try constantly trying to keep this sliding momentum throughout the level and build it up in areas which will get you past certain obstacles. Now I haven't addressed one of the most noticeable parts of the character. That is, of course, the gun. And some of you may be thinking, oh, that's what that is. Yes, it's a gun. But the gun has many uses, and one of the first of them is propulsion. It will give you a dash in some ways, but this is only done after touching a blue platform and will be lost after using the charge or touching a non-charged surface. The other ability that the gun has is the ability to swing in yellow-like zones. The combination of propulsion, swinging, and sliding 
give the player multiple movement options, which chain into a flow-like state. Your momentum is your friend, and this game will look to give you as many options to harness that power. Now sure, this isn't really perfecting speed, but I can promise you that Lumina Rush will give you that sense of speed and flow found in speedrunning games. And if you like that, you should check it out. Below is a link to the itch page to give the game a try or test yourself on the leaderboard. And you can give me a comment to give me any improvement that you think would be fit. Um, by no means am I an expert and I am still improving and learning, but if you like the stuff that I'm doing, give me a follow.